Spotlight facing the judge, the former president and treasurer of a University of Michigan fraternity, now shut down. They were the leaders of 250 students who ended up trashing a northern Michigan resort back in January. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner has led the way on this case and takes us to the courtroom in Gaylord. They negotiated here at the courthouse behind closed doors, and when they went into court, it was clear no deal. That's not to say we can't come up with something in the relatively near future. First, the charges, only two misdemeanors of providing a place for minors to drink. That's all they could prove. Again, Sigma Alpha Mu former president Josh Kaplan and former treasurer Jack Levin. That was leverage for the prosecutor to get them to cooperate. It did not work. I have used the term they lawyered up and clammed up. <laughs> The case is a lot more complicated than that. The pictures of the massive destruction last January made national news. And six months later, the hang up restitution, which the judge wants paid, and Treetops Resort, where it happened, that went through bankruptcy, is suing to get a couple hundred thousand dollars. These two are being sued. How many others could be on the hook? Some people don't pay, other people could be on the hook for more. And at the, at the end of the day, that's the bottom line here. So does the civil suit have to be resolved before you can resolve this? In my opinion, no, not at all. Both of these students plan to return to U of M this fall. Levin came from Ohio, Kaplan from Miami with their dads. They sat in court for an hour while their attorney tried to resolve this with the prosecutor. He wants names of all the students who did the damage. Two other students he's charged have cooperated. I would say probably somewhere in the neighborhood of anywhere between five and nine, maybe more, depending on some additional information that we're waiting on. We've all seen the pictures. It was massive, and your two guys are the first two charged, and they're still standing here without a resolution. I don't want to discuss the facts of the case, Jim. I wish I could. So both sides in the case of these two students will talk again in about a month. The prosecutor up here believes he can get everything resolved with all of the students, including those yet to be charged, later on this fall. In Otsego County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Well, tonight.